Welcome to Grab and Go Starry Night Sticker Resist. Pull out all the materials, including the pencil that I've used to wrap the painter's tape. You'll want a flat surface. You'll see in this video that I did it on newspaper. You might not want to do it on the newspaper, but actually on a flat surface, like a plastic tray or cookie sheet. This way you can reuse the painter's tape for future paintings. With the postcard, blank facing up, put the tape down about a quarter of an inch in on the edge. This will give it a frame effect after the painting is done. Carefully peel off the tape to place it down on the sides. Next, grab your star stickers and you can place those randomly wherever you would like on your blank card. You'll want to make sure the corners of the stickers are placed down carefully because this will make sure that you make the effect that you'll find at the end of your painting once it's dry. You'll need a cup of water so that you can get your watercolors ready. Now the watercolors are a little bit tricky when you first open them. You'll have to take the plastic wrap off and you have to use a lot of water. I found also when you open the top of the watercolor tray, you can use that as kind of a spot to kind of mix your color. Experiment a bit. A starry night can be kind of bluish, purpley, pink. No pun intended, but the sky's the limit. Continue painting and adding lots of water. After you're done, add salt. Just like sprinkle it, a lot, sprinkle it on all along the picture. Allow it to dry. This could take some time, so be patient. Once it's completely dry, you can, you can peel off the tape carefully. See how it made a nice white framed effect? It's pretty neat. This will be nice too, because this will become a space that you can write a little message or a positive quote. You might find that you wanna keep your star stickers right where they are, or you could carefully begin to start to peel those off. Brushing off the salt first, as long as the object is dry, is gonna give a nice effect. Here I decided to peel off the star stickers. And again, it made a nice white star in the night sky. Pretty cool. So additional tapping of the, of the salt to come off the painting is great. And with a thin black pen, you can write your own little message. I believe I put something like dream on or dream big. Um, any kind of a little positive quote would be great. On the back of your card, on that line, you'll write the person who you want to mail it to. The second line will become the number and the street address. The third line will become the city with a comma, state, and the zip code. In that space, you'll write your message to the person you want to send it to. And don't forget to place your stamp. Typically, postcards have their own stamp. You can ask your local post office. 